Here's a comment I received on my most controversial video, why eye exercises don't work. The user Donald Lasher wrote, I use an autorefractor every day. They don't measure axial length of the eye. Please show me any proof that says different. That fact negates your whole argument. Wearing the correct distance prescription does not change the axial length of the eye. And then he quotes me, so with this knowledge, what are you going to do? End quote. What do you recommend? <sighs> All right, let's take this step by step. When he says, I use an auto refractor every day, that must mean that you're some sort of eye care professional, like uh, an optician or something. Then you say, they don't measure axial length of the eye. Please show me any proof that says different. He makes a claim, and then he asks me for proof that discredits his claim. Wouldn't it be easier to just cite a source that says autorefractors don't measure axial length? That fact negates your whole argument. That's an unsighted claim, and that's not a fact. Here's the thing. You're right, but you're wrong. When I made this video, I made the mistake of not carefully reviewing the study that I linked to right here in the description. And if you click on that link and download it, which I've already done here, you can find in here It'll say, after these preliminary tests, a protocol was conducted to investigate the influence of four different levels of monocular defocus imposed for a period of 60 minutes on axial length. All ocular biometric measures were carried out using the Lenstar LS900 optical biometer. Okay, then it goes on to describe the machine and then what it's capable of measuring by saying, it provides a comprehensive range of ocular axial biometric measurements, including corneal thickness, anterior chamber depth, lens thickness, and axial length. And then it even describes what axial length is. So, I concede, Mr. Lasher. The machine that measured axial length is not an autorefractor. It was an optical biometer. But that doesn't negate my argument. So in your comment, you said, wearing the correct distance prescription does not change the axial length of the eye. Correct, but that's really a weasel statement. You and I both know that distance glasses are only correct for a distance of 20 feet. Any closer and the lens power is too strong. This is what causes vision to become worse. It's why people need stronger and stronger glasses every year, and that is what the study tested and proved. At the end of that video, I said with this knowledge, what are you going to do? And the question still stands. Mr. Lasher, you work for the industry, and I've given you more than enough information that should cause you to question the effectiveness of mainstream optometry. I suggest that you listen to people like myself, Jake Steiner, and Todd Becker, instead of arguing over trivial points. I mean, look, the evidence is all around you. Just do some internet searches, and everyone's freaking out about this. It is an epidemic. Nobody can really figure out what's going on, why so many people need glasses now, and why more and more people need glasses every single year, and they're getting them younger and younger, and myopia rates are exploding. So you're the professional here. Why don't you tell us where all this myopia is coming from? and what we should do about it. Where are your videos on your YouTube channel?